Last time we filmed on the Roadster pickup, we had just stuck the motor back in that Wayne's engine rebuilding had rebuilt for us. And when Wayne's got the motor rebuilt, they took it over to Verbancic uh, Brothers Racing and they dynoed that motor. And of course the carb shop, which is part of their, their business, they rebuilt the carburetor. They dyno tuned that motor, and put out 428 horsepower, which is way more than we need on the car. But the other thing that we needed to do was also put a real cool exhaust system on it. So went down to Magnaflow. I picked up some of their straight through performance mufflers. I have actually cut the flanges off of the ends of that because I want to shorten up everything as much as I can. We're going to put the curves and run the exhaust weld them directly to that. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put the clamps yet, but we're going to figure that out. What I did is I took some pictures of the bottom of the truck and I did a sketch of what I really wanted. I've already built from the headers to where the mufflers are going to start. And the only change I had to make was I wanted this to be one curve. I had to put a straight section in so I could get the straight tube coming back here to clearance everything. Once I put these in, that needed to come back. So there's two bends here. And I've got the one side all welded up and ready to weld up to the hangers that I've already built. So I'm going to get this side welded up. I'll get it back in the truck. We'll weld the hangers and then we're going to put the mufflers in. And then we've got to build the tubes over the rear end and come out the back. So let's get started here. Now I knew where I wanted to go and what I did is I bolted the flange to the headers that are on the motor itself and then fit the first tube to this. We welded that solid and then each time I fit these I grind and connect those so that there's no gap. I try to get away from any gap between the two pieces of tubing. The goal is that when the tubes are together and they're fit real nice that I can do a weld without having to add rod every time I put a pedal a puddle there. I can push the puddle, add a little rod and push that puddle so that it's just a nice clean weld when it's all finished. So let me go ahead and I'll start welding this one and I've already done the end one so I've just got these three to do. I could get this bolted back up and then my goal is to get the hangers welded on and then we can hang the mufflers off of that. I'm always feeling up when I got sunglasses on. I got my mind made up and I'm living life just for fun. Don't try to mess with me. Don't try to bring me down. Because I got a new attitude and I'm bringing it back to town. I'm gonna pick you up because I'm feeling like Bolt this back in, we can get the hangers put on. And then we'll put the mufflers up and start tacking those in. Each step of the way, every time I put a tube on, cut it and fit it, if you pull this thing apart, when you put it back together, I want to make sure that all the bolts are in and everything is snug because if it's not and you put something together and you weld it and then when you snug everything up, it wants to move it into a different position and it's going to be wrong. So before I weld these hangers on, I've already built the hangers, drilled the holes in the floor and I've got them sitting there. But before I weld them, I want to make sure that everything from the motor all the way to that hanger is tight and snug so it's in the proper position. If it's not snug, it could be loose and just hanging. You weld something up and then when you actually snug it all together, then it moves it or puts it in the wrong position and you have to cut it off and redo it. So every step along the way, you gotta make sure that everything is tight. Now you can see I've got the hangers already built and in place. I've got them marked. I could pull them out and weld them, but I think what I wanna do is I'm going to bring the welder over here and I'll tack these in place and then I'll tack the mufflers in place also and then I'll pull it apart, weld these solid, weld the mufflers solid and then figure out how I'm going to get over the rear end and out the back. We got the hangers tacked in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mount the mufflers, but I've gotta figure out a fixture to hold the mufflers here while I tack them 
to the exhaust tube. And uh, once I get those in place, then we can start figuring out the tubes that I have sitting on the floor here, which will make up the over the rear end tubes and then come out the back. Now we've got these Magnaflow straight through performance mufflers, but they've got a seam on them and I want to keep that seam at the very top. So I'm going to use these jack stands, hold the mufflers where I want them. If that'll line up. That's pretty much where it needs to be. What I want is for it to be parallel to the drive shaft. What I'm doing right now is I'm just welding the hangers, putting a nice weld on those, and then I'll come back and I'll weld these. I don't want to have my hand right over the hot hanger, so I'm switching. Switch them and I'll start welding the, the tube. You can see I've got the exhaust back bolted into the truck. Everything is welded all the way to the end of the mufflers now. What I'm going to do is take this tight bend, I'm going to cut it in half, and I'll get the bend to go from here. It'll turn up. There's going to be a clamp there, and then I'll have the bigger bend, which will go up over the rear end, connect into this pipe, and then I've got two of these that'll connect into that U-bend, and then exit out the rear of the truck. So, first one I've got to fit is the tight one coming into here. This is why I cut the flanges that were on the mufflers already. I cut everything to shorten that up and get it as tight as I could. So I'm going to go to where the pipe is clean here. I'll cut this in half, see where I need to make that so it'll fit in here, and then we'll continue coming out the back. Here's where we're at now. We've got everything coming up. We're on top of the rear end right now. These are the tubes that are going to extend that. And what my goal is, there's going to end up being two tubes coming right out the center, about right here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these clamps right in front of the rear end where that tube comes up off the muffler. I've got to weld that solid. I'll put the clamps on. I'll get those in. And then I'm going to continue building everything out. I'll pull that exhaust down, I'll get these clamps on there, and then I'll start bringing these out the back. But 
I love what I'm seeing, and I got to thank Magnaflow for all the help on this. It's going to be cool.